Hi there, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots, and I'm gonna share the X-Tool S1 and my favorite part about it, which is the pinpoint positioning system, particularly with batch working. It makes it so much quicker and so much easier on me to be able to run the business. Here's how. So I'm going to create a new XCS uh, file. This is using XCS 2.0, which is technically still in beta, but I've been using it for a long time. So I'm just going to drag in the SVGs I created here. So I did draw these. Let me know if you want them. I can put them in the shop. So I'm going to have two different um, file types within here. And the first is, um, you can see like this size may not be what I want, but I don't want to start messing with this SVG. So what I'm going to do is call this original. And then I'm also going to create a test or a notes file and a uh, canvas, I mean, and I'm also going to create a working file. So this is the one I'll be sizing, setting my settings into, doing everything inside of this one. So I just copy and paste it in here. Now this, I can make any changes I want without affecting the original file. So I have new coasters to me, so I am going to be running a set of tests. This is a new supplier. Not that I haven't run Slate before. If you are unsure of how to set up a test on this channel, I have a smart test array. It's easy to do. You won't set stuff on fire. I urge you to check it out. And so it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of color in this, but there is, I promise, everything from a light gray to a blonde to a white. On the back, I'm going to run an LPC test for the color I liked, and that is easy and quick to do just using one setting. I'm going to run five different LPC settings and show you what it looks like right out of the machine. Again, it's hard to see on camera, but in person, there is a lot of variation. So once I have my sort of ideal test settings, you can pop these things in here, catty corner, straight, using a ruler, using slats, it doesn't matter. But whenever you're positioning them, just make sure that even though this is chipped on the edge, I would still sell this because it will still work. It's important to drag your uh, crosshairs over somewhere on any of the coasters. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my settings because I know what they are. The first is processing type. Mine's already set to engrave. The second is using this easy set panel because I've run my material test and I'm not using those identified by X tool, which you can try. I'm going to set my parameters, including the LPC that I liked. So you can see everything there. I'll also talk about those settings at the end. And because I've positioned my crosshair over one of the slates, when I choose auto measure, it will automatically enter that distance for me. Next, I hit start marking. I'm going to choose rectangle and then I'm going to position my starting crosshair and hit start on the machine right up here. I'm just going to be working on the inside of the chips. When I hit start, a little red dot comes on. I'm going to move the entire gantry and move that crosshair to the bottom most right portion of this first one. You can see I'm staying within the chips on the right and on the bottom. I hit start, hit end marking, and do not hit done. I'm just simply going to move my crosshair to the next slate, hit start, move it to the bottom right, hit start, and that will give me my second square and marking, and then you repeat for however many you have. I only have four, so I'm just gonna go ahead, speed this up and show you, boop, 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 boop. Start, move, start, move, start, move. You know, all of it's the same. Start, move, and marking. Start, move, and marking, and we're done. Once we have all of those, we hit done, and you see the marked areas for each. Then we're going to drag our, er, and position our designs we are not positioning our designs in relation to each other, only within the relation to these squares. When you hit framing, you can frame the entire thing like I'm going to show you to do. If you want to frame each square, you actually have to ignore the output for the rest of them and do one at a time. But when you hit framing, I know this is going to work because I've done this 697 times. It's just going to frame this outline here. And that includes all four of our processing uh, pieces and all four of our slate coasters. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit framing completed, close it, turn on my inline fan, open my blast gates, and I am ready to go hit process. 
inside of XCS 2.0 is so cool. You are going to get a calculation of estimated time. Ah, it is so accurate, but you can also see how the laser will process. Mine is going to do one, um, one, four, two, three, right? So that's the way mine's going to work. So once I'm ready, I hit start in the software and then I hit start on the machine. And what will come up is this estimated time and left time. So remaining time. I'm going to show you what it actually looks like real time. This is my settings burning at a real time. You can see it in there through the protective glass. You do not need to wear additional laser safety glasses, but you can. You can see it all doing that. Obviously I've sped it up. Now what I want to show you with this is after it finishes one, it just goes straight on to the next one. And I am sitting there doing what I need to do working. I get that question a lot. Does it lock up my computer? No, I run a lot of businesses uh, uh, from this computer and I need it. It works. I'll show you exactly how I do it. So we're going to move the gantry and I want to show you this directly out. I saw on somebody else's video, people were questioning editing. Look, that's straight out of the machine. I'm in a yellow light because I don't have my studio lights on, but you can see that is straight out of the machine. There's no cleanup. I'm going to show you positioning. Look at that. I can sell this done. It's done. I don't have to do anything over. I don't have to do anything other than that one setup, which took me less than 10 minutes to set all of this up for a burn. These four, I'm showing you everything right out. So you know that there's no trickery or whatever, but these four are ready to be packaged and go. So here you can see, I am actually editing this video at the time I'm running the slate and I just go and check on it. See, it says I have six minutes left and then I'm sitting there watching it and I have one minute left. When it ends, you'll get a little notification in XCS 2.0 at the top right. You can clear that notification and then hit OK. Working tip tool, uh, I'll just tell you, go ahead and hit save again. I don't care if you already hit save, hit save again. And then for those of us who are going to be doing these things on repeat, you can go ahead and make a couple of notes. First, I always go in here and say, hey, you know, I'm going to put my settings so that in case anything happens to the file or my settings in my easy set panel, I can know exactly what I need for this slate and this supplier. And that is it for me today. Again, this is in natural light. Look at this, no sealant on this to sort of brighten things up because I want them to be used as coasters when I sell them. Let me know if you have any questions below. I sincerely appreciate you watching. Be sure to sign up for the newsletter for free stuff. Okay, bye.